program for you tonight. We must get on. Uh, tonight, Hollywood star Liam Neeson is here. <laughs> I know. I know. Star of Hangover, Bradley Cooper is here. <laughs> yes. Yes. Star of Extras, Stephen Merchant is on that sofa. <laughs> Also joining us, my favourite comic, Joe Brand. <laughs> and much excitement, Eurovision hopefuls, Blue are here. <laughs> That's right. People will be tuning in because Blue will be giving the first ever official performance of their new Eurovision song, I Can. Yes, they're off to Dusseldorf to represent the UK. Good luck. <laughs> A bit more encouraging about that. Good luck, yeah, whatever, bye. <laughs> yeah. See you later. Yeah, no, seriously, good luck, boys. We can do it, we can win it, we can bring it back. We probably don't want to win it, but we can do well. <laughs> uh, now, uh, looking forward to talking to uh, Bradley Cooper. Of course, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course uh, Bradley's biggest film was the hilarious comedy, uh, The Hangover. The Hangover. Uh, I'm sure you all saw The Hangover. It's all about getting drunk, waking up to find a trash hotel room, a tiger in the toilet, a baby in the closet, and someone's married to a stripper. <laughs> As if that could really all happen to one person. <laughs> oh. Now... <laughs> Not clever, kids. <laughs> and uh, really excited to be meeting uh, Liam Neeson later. <laughs> yes. Oh. He has been in so many brilliant films. Uh, Michael Collins, Oscar nominated for Schindler's List. Uh, here he is in Rob Roy. Oh, oh so heroic, isn't it? Oh, the wind whistling through the gorbals. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and of course, he was a Jedi Knight in Star Wars The Phantom Menace. Yes, all set a long, long time ago. Judging by that hair, I'd say early 80s. <laughs> uh, here's Liam with Chewbacca. <laughs> Oh, oh, I wonder what happened to Chewbacca after they finished the film. <laughs> I suppose we'll never know. Uh, I, I love Star Wars. It's a whole universe full of weird creatures. Like this one from The Return of the Jedi. Uh, this one from The Phantom Menace. And this one from Bristol. <laughs> Welcome one, welcome all. All right, ladies, calm down. Sorry, are they cheering for me or I wasn't... <laughs> <laughs> Does you get this everywhere you go, Bradley? I do. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> is this your life now? No, not really. No? No. It is, isn't it? It is. No, honestly, no, no. Say in Britain, they love you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh, hey. <laughs> Someone over 12. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> oh, by the way, you've just put the kettle on and you're now going, hang on, didn't he say Liam Neeson a minute ago? Uh, Liam is joining us later. He's hot-footing it. He's filming over... Where is he? Shepparton Studios. So uh, he'll be joining us later in the show. Actually, we don't normally do this, but I know you know Liam Neeson because you, you did the um, A-team together. Yeah. yeah. Anything we should know about him before he gets here? Um, he's quite funny, actually. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of pressure you're putting on yeah. Liam. <laughs> he's arriving later in the show. We'll have laughed a lot. Uh, <laughs> is he really funny? Yeah, he, he, I'm lying. No, he, <laughs> he's the biggest bore. Uh, no, he's, he's wonderful, yeah. And he's obviously a great actor and a big, big guy. Really? Yeah, huge hands, huge. Really? Yeah. Oh. I imagine he's got a very good handshake, Liam. He does, so yeah. I'm looking forward to that. I yeah. think he's yeah. a bit limp, like a fish. Really? <laughs> wow, these are big words. I know, well, let's see what happens, okay. big boy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, Bradley Cooper, what an amazing couple of years you've had, uh, because 
there you were, you, you were a jobbing actor, and now it's about two, a bit over longer, two and a half years, something like that. You're now above the title, bona fide Hollywood leading man star, which is a, you know, a fantastic thing. To and happen. a good timekeeper, unlike Liam Neeson. <laughs> Thank you. To be applauded. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now, how does that happen? Is it all down to the hangover, or was it kind of a, were you on a roll anyway? Uh, uh, you know, it's weird. For me, I, I just feel like I've just been a working actor since, uh, you know, since I started, and blessed to do it. But whenever you're part of a movie that, that, that is so financially lucrative, you know, it, it's, everybody's going to benefit, so I just had more opportunity. Um, is it Todd Phillips, the director of mm. The Hangover? He gave you advice on how to make yourself into a leading man, didn't he? He did? Just imitate him? No, because I thought he told you to grow your hair. Oh, he did say that. Yeah, Thank he did. Thank you very yeah, much. <laughs> you, you, know, you, you wanted Phil to be, have, like, a 70s, like, um, chips kind of thing going on. Yeah, listen, it's worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because have, have, have you had that moment where someone's given you career advice, the kind of do this and good things will come? Well, I, I was told as a stand-up to go to the Montreal comedy festival and that would be my gateway to success in America. You've got no idea who I am, so obviously that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> There's not still wrong. time, Joe. There is still time. <laughs> no, well, what actually happened was I did the gala, because they call it a gala over there, not a gala, which we call it over here. <laughs> and then I went for dinner afterwards and I went past this table of suspicious looking guys with sunglasses on in big suits. And as I walked past, one of them just went, like that to me. I don't really like that. So I went, sit on that knobhead. <laughs> and then got to my table and said, God, who are all those guys over there? And someone at the table went, they're really important American agents. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> and if people try to interfere in your, in your career... People try to interfere in your career <laughs> path... <laughs> um... <laughs> I don't know if people have tried to interfere. I've not, I wouldn't say I've had a great amount of kind of help or guidance. But you have started going to the gym and yeah, you've started well, beefing up for please, the shirts yeah, off sure. Roles. I mean, it can only be a matter of time before Daniel Craig uh, gives over the James Bond role. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, we start, I've, been, uh, I've been beefing up. Well, I'd say beefing up. I've been going to the gym trying to stay alive um, <laughs> over the age of, of 50. Um, I'm, I'm very uncomfortable in the gym, though, so I know I try not... You know what I mean? I'll get rid I mean, you seem like a man who's probably very comfortable with your body and happy to walk around. But are you one of those guys who walks around in the gym completely naked? Because I'm more of a... Like, I, I prefer the towel on, smuggling the underpants down... <laughs> you know, the trunks With the seaside. On. The yeah, seaside I, well, yeah, but I apply that in the gym. I don't... No-one's seeing what's going on down here. I just... I, like, I, I was in the gym, and there was a guy, and he was wandering around completely naked, weighing himself. <laughs> Pop a towel on! <laughs> How exact have these measurements got to be? <laughs> I'm not going on the space shuttle, for goodness <laughs> And the work guy came up to me and he was he started a conversation with me, completely naked, and he was and he just came up, I was on a bench to put my shoes on, he just came up like that. You don't like the sound of that. No, I don't. You wouldn't want a man's no. genitals staring at No, I'd hate that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> because you did have to go all gym crazy. Was it the A team made you all, all gym yeah. crazy? Yeah, yeah, I did, but I, I'm a, you do this when you go to the gym. I do the two-towel thing where you go into the shower, you have the towel, you wear the towel into the shower, then you have another towel in the shower. You wear it in the shower, in the shower. and then it get wet? Yeah, no, then I put it over, then I have another towel. That's how crazy I get about it. Really? So you're as, you're as embarrassed of what's Very going embarrassed. as I am? Very embarrassed. Wait a minute, do you mean you use one, as a, one of those big turbans when you come out of the shower? <laughs> I should. That would be a good way to hide it. That'd be a good look. Yeah. I go to the gym with my coat on. <laughs> Don't take it off. And then a lot of the time, people just try and bounce on me because they think I'm equipment. Now, uh, Bradley Cooper. Yes. Uh, obviously, you did lots of great kind of comedy movies. Obviously, The Hangover, Wedding Crashers, All About Steve. Uh, you did The A Team. But now, this is a kind of a departure. You're very serious. It's a psychological thriller. You are, I mean, you're it. You're carrying the whole movie, and it's called uh, Limitless. It's out on the 23rd of March. You do know some of this, don't you? <laughs> yes. Uh, you're, you're, looking <laughs> like, you're looking at me like you were interested. Like, am I? That's... <laughs> So, anyway, your movie, Limitless. Yes, Limitless. Uh, it's a great premise for a movie, so... so it's a good hook, right? It's a yeah, great... It's basically great the question, um, 
what would happen if you could fulfill uh, your, uh, the most potential you could possibly have and uh, unlock, basically, change the synapses in your brain so that anything you've ever heard, smelled, touched, or felt since the womb, you could recall in an instant and use for whatever purpose uh, necessary? <laughs> so, what is it? It's, so a bit, it's, it's a drug. drug. Oh, it's a drug, right. Yeah. Okay. That makes you... Did I miss that? Did sorry, I, I didn't that? understand what the hell you were talking about. <laughs> Just to basically, again. sorry. Uh, here you go. So there's so a I guy. Take a pill. Well, hold on. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You take a pill. Yeah. But you, so let's say, okay, there's, I play a guy, Eddie Mora, who's Eddie, a writer. Eddie, Eddie, Mora. Eddie Mora. Eddie Mora. Eddie Mora. A guy, I've had a book contract <laughs> about 10 years ago. Okay. Never fulfilled it. It was cool when I was 25. Now I'm 35. Sure. Haven't written a page. Sure. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Come across my ex wife's brother, who I used to party with years ago. Uh -huh. Now I'm trying to put myself together, even though I haven't. Yeah. Says, hey, you know what? How's that book coming along? You know, I haven't written a page. Oh, you know what? I got this great drug. It's FDA approved. It's going to help you focus. Okay. You know how you only use 10% of your brain? Uh, yeah, okay. You can access all of it. Right. All right. Why not? Nothing's going on. Sorry, are you well. acting out the entire film? Yeah, I'm <laughs> <laughs> It's a two hour show, right? No, no, I'm saying, no. It's yeah, yeah, it's like I, mean, seven quid. I, I didn't nail that scene, so I'll tell you what. You're going to play De Niro I'll in a second. <laughs> Sorry, so yes, yeah, so you take the pill. Yeah, take so the pill. You take the pill. Yeah, I take the pill, and then all of a sudden, uh, you know, everything changes. I write the book in four days, and then I have all this power, and what am I going to do with it? Okay, right. And it all goes really well, and that's the end. Of course. And that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a brilliant idea, and uh, he's really happy. Uh, no, it, no, it doesn't turn out to be It goes it wrong. We've, we've got a clip. Uh, you're trying to track down where the drug came from, and there's a, a mysterious stranger. Mm. Is it? Is it? scene was, uh, what, 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 what leg is my limp? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to run with the it's limp. Hard. Limp acting is very difficult. Yes, you do it very well. <laughs> the other thing I thought, I don't know why, but I thought, he's too close. It's almost like a comedy. Get, like a, no, but it's like, <laughs> the phone rings. He's literally like where you are. <laughs> 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 I thought, you should have been a little farther away. <laughs> And why are you running away if you can't tell us why? I have no idea. He, he, he took a phone call from you and then you started... Uh, no, the no, reason no, no, is... No, no, the no, reason is... Was he a cold yeah, caller? No, it wasn't. Is yes. he a what? Is he a cold well, caller? you got to see the movie. Yeah, sure, OK. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> no, it is, it's really exciting and yeah. good. And also, there's amazing kind of visual shot... Like, it's shot beautifully. Those kind of weird... Yeah, they call them uh, fractal zooms, which are apparently very difficult to shoot, where they just keep uh, shooting footage, uh, and they, they go like 30 feet, 30 feet, and he basically takes you through half the city at one it's point. It's incredible. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, so that is real. Yeah, I'm... that is real. Yeah, yeah, they took them all day to do that. Well, time well spent. I yeah, enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah. Do okay. thank them on my behalf. <laughs> um, I'll take you through it. So stand here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joe Brown beside you, actress there. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you are! Oh, you are! You're in Getting On, you do acting. I don't call it acting, I call it being myself and not looking embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> but it has gone really well, um, getting on. It has, yes. weirdly. Yes, everyone loves it's it. It's because it's so glamorous, I think. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it takes the lid off the NHS and shows how fun and glamorous it is. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> and because of this, have you been offered kind of other acting roles and things? No, not since I... I actually did go for a job years ago. Um, Linda LaPlante, have you heard of her? No, no she's a writer. She's of French. Her name in English is Linda the Plant. <laughs> <laughs> she, um... Sounds like a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> she... 
she, she wrote a series about comedians and I was asked to go and audition for it because one of the women characters in it was based on me. And I went for the audition, I was so shite, I didn't get the part playing myself. <laughs> Quite bad, isn't it? it? That is quite Kate bad. Moss. <laughs> <laughs> it went a different way. Yeah. <laughs> We're going in a different way. Uh, not content with uh, acting, you've written another book. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I no. have. <laughs> you know, a lot of it's kind of the story of you getting into stand-up and stuff. Yeah. But then they're kind of just dip-in chapters with kind of random titles. One chapter is entitled "Which Celebrities Are Arseholes." <laughs> None of us are in it. We're <laughs> none of me and Neeson isn't in it. We're fine. Well, no, actually, you were in it, but the lawyer <laughs> made me take yeah. it out. Because <laughs> he knew I was nice, really. <laughs> well, the whole point of that chapter is I don't actually think I say any no, celebrities don't. are assholes. I just wanted people to look in it and go, oh, great, and then get there and be really disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> but one of the stories in the book I love is that thing uh, of being off the telly but not being able to choose when to be recognised. You know the story about... Um, giving... When I was giving birth? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I was, I'd virtually given birth to my first daughter and, you know, legs akimbo as you are and all that biz. <laughs> Door opens, in comes someone with an autograph book and goes, can I have your autograph? <laughs> with a baby wow. sort of half Halfway out. out. yeah. <laughs> Said, wait five minutes, she'll sign it and all. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't some random person off the street. It was actually a doctor <laughs> in another department. That's so crazy. unprofessional. Because you were saying that you get. Well, I, I, the, the weirdest one from the weirdest one from is. Have you ever been sort of accidentally insulted by a fan? When, Many times. Yeah. yeah I mean, <laughs> Well, but this is one I, I remember was recently. I, I was uh, queuing up for a cash machine, uh, ATM, right. and I was in the line, and there was a guy ahead of me, and he sort of looked round, and he, oh, hello, mate, how's it going? Uh, and he said, uh, can I, sorry, mate, can I get an autograph? And I went, yeah, no problem. He went, oh, do you mind if I get a photo? And he, you know, had a photo with him. And then he was next in line, right? And he went to put his number in. He looked back at me, covered up his pin <laughs> number. <laughs> So insulted because it's like, like firstly that he thinks that things are so tough for me. <laughs> now I'm like, you know, I'm stealing pin numbers and cards. But also that I'm such a stupid criminal that seconds before I rob someone, I have my photo taken. <laughs> scene of the crime. It was so insulting. <laughs> Because you must get... Well, we've heard the screams tonight. You must get a lot of attention now, a lot of... I remember uh, I did a movie, Matthew McConaughey, called Failure to Launch. Oh, yes. And, and, and I was in an Applebee's in Atlanta, Georgia, and this woman came up and she said, Oh, my God, oh, my God, can I have your autograph? And I was like, I was really excited. I thought, oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> I'm so excited. And I ran down, and, and she's going, oh, oh, no, no, just put Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm so sorry. I, I, I'm not Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> Oh, I know you're not Matthew McConaughey, but you work with him. That's enough. Thank you very much. <laughs> and you know what? I signed it. <laughs> but I misspelled the shit out of his name. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> the thing that she was happy that you knew Matthew yeah, McConaughey. Yeah, that was it. That but I that you still would sign his name yeah, on his behalf. And I did it. And That's I did it. Brilliant. That was a low moment. That is fantastic. <laughs> do, you ever, do you ever forget that you're well known? Because this happens. I used to have this uh, trick that when I was a student that. Um, in order to not spend money on, like, the big issue or those charity people who, who sign you up, I would pretend to be foreign. So someone would come up and say, excuse me, and I'd be, I'm sorry, I don't... Um... <laughs> I don't know what yeah, accent yeah. that is. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But it's sort of a French, Alien. generic <laughs> European accent. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what you, who this, what... And this would be my excuse. And just a couple, recently, <laughs> it's right. someone came up to me again and I, and I just forgot I'd been on the telly and I did it again. <laughs> excuse me, would you sign up to Greenpeace or whatever? I'm sorry, I don't. Uh... <laughs> and the guy went, sorry, are you Steve Merchant? <laughs> At that point, you've got a decision, which is either to just admit what you're doing or to maintain the illusion. <laughs> That's the one I choose. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what that is. Uh, I have never seen the office, <laughs> the bureau. <laughs> but also, in the book, you talk about kind of the bad side of getting attention, cos you talk about starting out and stand-up and kind of some of the, the really horrible, heckly 
things that because one was quite aggressive. Do you know the one I'm talking about? I do. No. Well, there's, there's a club in, in Ballam called the Banana, which I'm sure nice, you remember. That's a nice I know, club. It, I know. And I'd always had really lovely times there. And the thing about it is, it doesn't have a raised stage. You just stood on the floor. Yeah. And um, to get to the bar, you can either go around the back politely or sort of walk across the stage. And nobody ever does because you walk right in front of the act. Well, this very pissed bloke thought, I'm not bothering with that. So he walked across right in front of me. So naturally, I took the piss out of him. Mm. And he went to the bar bought two pints, came back past me and just emptied one of them over my head. <laughs> it's very hard to go on after that, I'd have thought. Well, I said that's the first time a bloke's ever bought me a drink. You have to cater for every eventuality, I'm sure. You, you did stand up, didn't you? Yeah, did but you I've go, never had anything like that? as brutal as that. That's horrible. I don't think they could reach to pour it. That's no, the no. one. <laughs> well, you've got all heck. He's got, your he, he's got his first solo stand up tour happening. Right. Yeah, yes. I'm starting out. Is it in nice theatres, though? Nice theatres, thankfully, oh, not the right kind then. of the, the, the grim clubs. Yeah, Are you yeah. headed to the States? Pardon me? You headed to the States? Just one gig in New York, yeah, and if it goes well, then maybe, you know, when? four more. Um, we'll get our diaries together and... Sure, sure, you know, what <laughs> is, that, is that too much? <laughs> a little bit keen. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice if you get on, but that was a bit creepy. <laughs> <laughs> the way I said it, too, like, like intonation yeah. changed. Yeah. It was a bit of like, <laughs> when? Yeah. <laughs> Even at, like, two points. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, when does it start here in this country? It starts in September. OK. Um, and I have done stand-up in the past. I don't want people to think that I've just instantly hired out huge venues and I think I'm going to be great. I, I did it for years and then I stopped and I've come back to it more recently. And what's um, the name of this tour? The show is called Hello, Ladies. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, don't patronise me. You see, he got whoops and cheers. <laughs> um, but it's really... And it's, it's you know, it's an excuse... Um, I'll be honest, it's an excuse to maybe meet, meet a wife. That seems like a good opportunity. Yeah, no, no, come on. Um, uh, so, um, so, yeah, you know, it's a good opportunity to sort of meet people. And, uh, but I don't want kind of lots of crazy women turning up with sort of bridal gowns on and you know, kind of just flooding the stage, you know. Men are welcome and, you know, everything's like. What if in the middle of the tour you really met someone? Well, I'd end the tour. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, ladies. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the tour. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Just yeah. scribbling on all the oh, posters. Oh, I want to make it clear, I'm not doing this for people's amusement. This is, uh, this is to me beautiful, isn't it? So are ugly women not going to get a look in? Welcome to come. <laughs> all the <men> <laughs> You... Put my ticket on eBay. <laughs> so are thousands of others. Yeah. I, think no, I meant anyone. You have to have sex with Joe now. I think that's the rule. No, 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 no. 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 Thank you. No, no. no. <laughs> I like what? big. I like big fat ones. <laughs> Pity, because I was just thinking how sexy you are. <laughs> Sorry, were you looking at me or? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't clear. I wasn't specified. <laughs> <laughs> Now, listen, uh, this is uh, the last in this bit of the series. So, uh, in the past, we, we, do, we have shown a lot of stupid websites on the show. And this series, we've been very good. We've held off. We've hardly shown any. But uh, we thought we'd spoil ourselves because of the night that's in it. So, uh, would anyone like to see cats that sit like humans? Yay! <laughs> well, you've come to the right place because we found a website called Cats That Sit Like Humans. <laughs> now, this is your basic cat that sits like humans. There she is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think we know what she's doing. Uh, <laughs> the state of that chair. She's <laughs> 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 watching Whiskers ads. <laughs> uh, uh, that, that's fun. This one, this next one, it's a little bleaker, Bradley. It's a little bleaker. <laughs> Where did it all go wrong? Like yesterday, I was a kitten. I, I look a bit like that when I'm watching the telly. <laughs> <laughs> I like that cat. Are you sure they're not dead? <laughs> they're really not. Um, <laughs> and now, this next cat, I feel, is probably no stranger to the kitchen either. Look at that one. <laughs> I mean, that looks like it's eaten a loaf of bread. <laughs> 
But the good thing is, when it dies, won't it make a lovely hot water bottle cover? <laughs> you can just have the little cork in its mouth. <laughs> or it'd be lovely. Or a novelty rucksack. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging on top of a child's back. <laughs> And uh, it's, they don't all sit in that position. Uh, here's one uh, sitting slightly more nonchalantly. Yeah, Brian, the figures add up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should meet next week. Was it a straight offer? <laughs> yeah. Well done, all the cats. Very good. Next. Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson will be here shortly, but before he does, you're not the only one with a Hollywood movie out. Down the end, there's Stephen Merchant. Thank you, yeah. Yes, he yeah, is in. He you. is in a Hollywood film. In fact, your film uh, opens tonight. Right. Uh, hall Pass. Sure. Now, some people don't know what a Hall Pass is. Explain what a Hall Pass is. Well, uh, am I right in saying that in America, our, our Hall Pass is something you give to kids if you're a teacher to let them sort of that's run right. amok in keep the... an eye on them. If they're in the hallways and they don't have a hall pass, that's illegal for them to be there. OK, yeah. right, I see. It's like a jail high school. Right, I see, I understand, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, so in, in this movie, uh, the conceit is that uh, some wives give their husbands a hall pass, which gives them permission to have a week off of marriage, and they're able to, you know, to, to ideally sleep with other people uh, or chase girls or whatever they want to do in that time. Nice. And that's the premise of the film. You're an yeah. American in it. Uh, no, I play a very English Englishman. Uh, I wear a cravat, if that... I don't know if that gets the, uh, yes, the juices gets... flowing. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, and, um, He's trying to come back. <laughs> and, uh, it's not working. Yes. Anyway, so that's that's the that's the movie. Yeah. Now, does, is your guy married and wants a hall? No, pass? I'm just one of a sort of gang of friends who is sort of cheering the guys on. Who's um, single? No, I, I'm married. They're they're all, we're all married. Yes. And um, this is almost as complicated as your film. <laughs> <laughs> We're all married, and uh, but only two of them get the permission to have. But this is this is a, a scene for the movie with you and your wife talking about a hall pass. Never seen them look happier. Who's out there? Maggie and Grace. You know, I've been wondering if maybe I should give you a hall pass. That was amazing. Thank you, thank you. It's nice finally to meet a woman who's not obsessed with penis size. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, oh my god. What if the cops question me? I'm weak. Dude, up here. That was awesome. We saw the whole thing. This is Rachel Brooklyn. I want to speak to a barrister. So what do you think? Yeah, we'll give it a whirl, why not? <laughs> Very good, and that's, uh, that's out tonight. That's out tonight. Uh, I've forgotten when your movie's out. When is it again? I... March 23rd. 23rd. That's in a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My movie's not out because I haven't bleeding got one. <laughs> Listen, uh, still to come, this year's Eurovision entry from Blue. But first, do I hear the pat and pat of enormous Oscar nominated shoes? Yes, he's here. Please welcome the great Liam Neeson, everybody. <laughs> oh, right there he is. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Liam's down at Stephen. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Nice to meet you. Hey, Dave. Nice to meet you. And there's your wine. Oh, you are pretty. Oh, yeah, he's doing it. For a pleasure glass of wine. Oh, thanks. Yes, it's yours. Welcome. Because thank you very much for doing this. I know you have been working all day. Yes. You've been at Shepparton Studios. Shepparton, yeah, playing Zeus. Zeus. In This is The Wrath of the Titans? The Clash of the Titans 2. So give us, a, give us a glimpse of the life of Liam Neeson in this movie. So what were you doing today? What did you film today? Uh, well, today I was wearing a wig and a hair down to here. And... Zeusy. Zeusy, like, yeah, there you go. Oh, there he is, as Zeus, and, with uh, a chocolate coin. What was I doing? <laughs> I, yeah, I'm, I'm going into the underworld. Was there a wind machine? Was there a wind machine? Oh, there's loads of wind machines, oh, yeah. Exciting, isn't it? <laughs> you must be exhausted. <laughs> um, 
And, uh, and here you are, of course, uh, with your good friend, Bradley Cooper. We haven't what seen each other in a long time, yeah. What an odd reunion. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now uh, Bradley has told us uh, what he thinks of you. Uh, if you'd like to know, uh, yeah, it, it's on Fridays at half ten. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to have a lawyer watching. Okay. Uh, I don't. Uh, no, no. He was very complimentary about you. Very complimentary about you. Now, listen. Reading about you, you have kind of reinvented yourself as an action hero. Well, I did. I, I did this film called Taken. That came yeah. Out yeah. Of a straight to video. Is that what I, you thought it was going to no, be? No, I thought, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, uh, and Fox Studios, it opened in France and then it opened in South Korea. And then it was downloadable, you know, on computers in South Korea because my nephews in Brighton downloaded it. I said, that's against the law, you can't do that. So I said, well, <laughs> we're students. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, if you like Taken, you'll love um, uh, Unknown, because you're, you're kicking out seeing Unknown. Right. And uh, you're in it with uh, Diane Kruger, who came to see us. Diane uh, Kruger, a few January weeks ago. Jones from Mad and, Men. Yeah. And this is a, one of those movies where you lose, you lose your identity, essentially. No, I don't. The rest of the world does. That's the thing. This guy knows exactly who he is, but he, he gets involved in a, uh, a crash, he wakes up in a hospital, he's in a coma. And uh, nobody knows who he is. He knows who he is. And nobody has a clue who he is. And then he meets his wife that he has traveled with, and she hasn't a clue who he is either. So, Can I just point out, I, I paid to see it only the other day, Liam, and I mm -hmm. thought it was brilliant. I uh, absolutely yeah. loved it. I wow. It was tremendous. Now Very you're being good. nice to people. <laughs> yeah. A bit late in the day now. <laughs> yeah. But it did cost me like a tenner, so I don't think... <laughs> 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 we've got a we've got a, a clip of you uh, in action. I'll tell you, Bradley has already mentioned your hands, that it, people must be scared of doing fights, because you were a proper championship boxer, weren't you? I, I was, as a child. I started boxing when I was nine. I think I had my last fight when I was 16 or 17 or something. Yeah. But you still do all your own fights, Yeah, I you? like doing my fights. I don't do my own stunts, of course, but I do my own fights. I like doing that stuff. Yeah. Okay. And I love reading about because you seem quite casual in your attitude to, to work. Because uh, Rihanna was on the show a while ago, because you were in uh, oh, Battleships. Oh, Rihanna. Oh, Rihanna. Rihanna. What is yeah, yeah. Rihanna? She's cute, isn't she? <laughs> yeah. Well, but you're in Battleships with her. Yes. Yeah. Uh, based on the board game. Based on the board game, yeah. And um, is it true that you forgot you were in it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about this a second. Right? Um... Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's, you know, it's... As Clint Eastwood described, he says, you hit a few marks, you say a few lines, what's the problem? <laughs> Very good! That's right. <laughs> sometimes you have to do that. <laughs> Other times, yeah, of course, you take it seriously, but... And, Brett, you do impressions as well, Bradley, don't you? Sometimes, if you want me to talk, I just, uh, whatever comes into my head, I'll say, I don't know when or what it's gonna be. Is that your mom? That's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> by the way. <laughs> no, we not. <laughs> Could you do a Liam? Oh! <laughs> I bet you do I, I, when he's not here. I, 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 Damn, I, I should have asked you before he showed up! <laughs> I'm doing <Ian> Paisley. <laughs> War us at night! <laughs> <laughs> Very I, good. I used to be able to do Sean Connery. Oh, yeah, you could In do fact, Sean. sometimes I, I would call up my agent and say, uh, hello, this is Sean Connery. 
to uh, Ed Lomato, please. <laughs> and I, I'd immediately get through. <laughs> I said, I'm only kidding, this Liam. <laughs> Stephen? I don't know. I can't do any other voice. You've heard my Frenchman great already, one, yes. The, the general European General one European one man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he did this general. Yeah, yeah, I do a little taste. If you turned up earlier, Liam, you'd have heard it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> now you've offended another yes. guest! He had hit all of us. Oh. And he's a big boy as well. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear. Now, listen, uh, I've, I've got to ask you, uh, are you all Eurovision fans? Liam, you're from Ireland. You must... Oh, yeah, be... always hosted by Terry Wogan. And now me. You work nobody too much. Better. No, nobody better. <laughs> well, listen, I'll tell you, fingers crossed, United Kingdom, on the 14th of May, the hopes <laughs> and dreams of a nation will be riding on this group <laughs> with this song <laughs> with the first ever performance yeah, yeah, yeah. of this year's Eurovision entry. I can please welcome Blue! <laughs> You were the eyes in the face of fortune I lost my way and I couldn't find you Oh, oh no We're not the first ones to be divided Won't be the last to be reunited no. No second chances if I don't find it all So, you, Blue are sort of in economy, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you're going to do well, because they look good. It's nice to see... That... <laughs> it's 
good. I was really, was really nice to see you out there all back together again. It was nice. <laughs> uh, well, listen, I, good luck on... Is the May 14th? Is that what it is? Yeah. May the 14th. Yeah. May the 14th. I'm smelling douze point. <laughs> it would be, nice, be nice to get a douze point from somebody. Yeah. yeah. No, you won't come last. No, you won't come last. You won't come last. We, we, can't, we can't do any worse than last year, can we? In fairness, he came last. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> We're nearly out of this, but uh, just time for the final stories in the red chairs for this series. Uh, who's up first? Hello, nice lady. Oh, do, 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 do. What's your name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. What do you do, Elizabeth? I'm a student. A student of? Um, um, Plymouth. A student of Plymouth? <laughs> <laughs> I think she may have limited her job opportunities there. <laughs> We're looking for a Plymouth expert. I... <laughs> Elizabeth's the woman for that job. <laughs> Elizabeth, delight us. Yeah, so um, I was at Blue Water the other day. Really? With my friends, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and obviously, like you can see, I've got the red hair on, and um, I'm sure you know I look like Rihanna, right? I did think that immediately. Yeah, so... <laughs> yeah. Liam Neeson exactly. thought it was Rihanna. <laughs> Um, and I turned back and I was like, oh, no, no, that's my name, oh, no. <laughs> and obviously, the, the, they, they realised it wasn't Rihanna anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Has the story sort of tailed off now? <laughs> uh, oh, we have one more. OK, one more, one more, one more, one more. Hello. Oh, you look a bit nervous. I'm very nervous. Oh. <laughs> What's your name? Shauna. Shauna. Yeah. And what do you do, Shauna? I'm a student. Of? Uh, media and film. Media and film. I wonder where that is. I've never heard of that town. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, off you go with your story. Um, well, I've kind of met Duncan from Blue before. <gasps> <laughs> um, me and my friend, when we were about 12 or 13, went to the Valentine's special of SMTV Live. You the... don't say. <laughs> and then he was sitting in front of us because yes. um, Blue were performing. Oh, yeah. And then um, me and my friend decided yeah. to start touching him and stroking his, <laughs> his hair. And then we started singing, like, made-up love songs to him. <laughs> Did he seem to mind? Well, he turned around and said, I love you girls too, so... <laughs> <laughs> Should we let her walk? Yeah, yeah don't, don't take her. it. Don't take her. Yeah, let her walk. Yeah. Off you go, Shona. Oh, very good. Uh, well done, everyone. If you'd like to join us on the show and have a go in the red chair, you can contact us via our website at this very address. Uh, thank you so much to all my guests tonight. Uh, Blue, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Stephen Merchant. Joe Brand. Bradley Cooper. And Liam Neeson. We're going to take a short break. We'll see you in a few weeks. I'll be back tonight. Bye-bye.